2019 season, the Riverhounds were flying high. With only two losses in their final 23 games, the team finished with the best record in the Eastern Conference and earned home field throughout the conference playoffs. But the Hounds had never won a playoff match at their seven-year-old Highmark Stadium home. In fact, the team had not won any playoff matches since the 2004 season, which is why anticipation was so high ahead of the team's first playoff game, an Eastern Conference quarterfinal against the Birmingham Legion. Highmark was booming, like the fans were excited. Everyone making noise, like it's a real, really good atmosphere, like the best I've been a part of. To come out for the first, my first playoff game and just see the crowd and you see a little bit of rain coming in, a little bit of snow throughout the game. To hear the stands, it's all right, we're home, we're gonna get it done. We've done it all year long. Tonight is the night to make something special happen. Not even a heavy rain on game day could dampen the excitement of a stadium record crowd of 5,627 fans, and it wasn't long before they would be given reason after reason to cheer. The top seed played the part, and just 13 minutes into the game, Nico Brett put the hounds ahead, capitalizing after a Robbie Mertz shot struck the post. That ball fell to me and I hit a volley like as sweet as I've ever hit one and it rang off the post and came back and hit the keeper and then kind of cycled back and Nico scored and I remember that. Um, he went and celebrated with the Steel Army right in front of us and there was smoke and the noise was like through the roof. Brett scored two more goals in the first half and an unlikely score, defender Jordan Dover added another in first half stoppage time to give the Hounds an unassailable five goal lead. The crowd was everything that game and the rain. I think we played that in their offensive end for the whole first time. And Nico came up, picked that game for us. We knew that they could give us a good test, and uh, I would say it probably wasn't until like 4 nothing in the first half that we were like, all right, um, I think this is going to go our way here. But um, yeah, it just it was one of those things where probably as we went through the first half, it just started to feel very easy to us. The scoring wasn't done. Mertz converted a second half penalty kick to make it 6 nothing. I remember Tommy Van Kaisel came up to me in the celebrations and was like, that was not a good penalty. <laughs> um, but it was one of those nights, like everything was going our way and thankfully um, that's one of the good memories, not one of the ones that takes away from it. So um, it was really cool to get a goal in that game for sure and to contribute that way. Brett capped the night with his fourth goal, setting a USL championship playoff record and tying the Hounds record for goals in any single game. When the final whistle blew, the Hounds had a 7-0 win, the biggest in USL playoff history. But more importantly for the fans, the team had the playoff win that had eluded them for so long at Highmark Stadium. Everyone's screaming, clapping, a little bit of snow, a little bit of grit that gives us, this is Pittsburgh, you come home and this is how you, this is the game that you have to deal with when you come to us. I think that's just the best feeling, you know, to just see each other at the end of the game and say, we, had, we got it done at home with our fans the way we wanted it. Uh, unbelievable. I mean, really it is about like, not about the size of the stadium or the magnitude of people there. It's about like what they bring and the energy they bring. And um, certainly in this case, it was, it was off the charts. It was amazing. Best atmosphere and finished that game 7-0. Playoff game at home. Great atmosphere, as I said. Fans were brilliant, so that was one of one. This has been a look back at one of the top moments in 10 years of Highmark Stadium.